path will lead your forces to Artanis. That's good. I like Artanis. He's our boy. All right, we have no fight with ally here. Oh, there's a lot of stuff here. If only we had an ally to fight with. I mean, we're going to win this fight anyway. So, swing this way. Swing this way. Grab them together. Turn them into mincemeat. Yeah, it turns out the Zerglings are actually pretty easy to beat. Who would have guessed? Okay, boom, boom, boom. Yeah, we can feed back that too. Alright, let's go. Oh, it's a big boy. Look at him. Well, he's not going to have a good day. He died impressively fast. Let's do this. Oh, that's not my base. I forgot. <laughs> this is my ally that I fight with. Uh, here we go. We got my pylon. Oh, we got a lot of people over here. We got one, two, three, four. That's that's a lot of people. Interesting. Hmm. So just taking a look at this, it kind of looks like my allies are going to slip through here. Ah, do they take this path? Interesting. They appear to be Zelnaga vessels. Power sources. Cool, cool. If we can locate them, Mateus, take your gas geysers. To use their energy to free up additional solarite from the spear of a dune's core. If we destroy those void crystals before too many of the hive get destroyed, yeah, we could do that. Unbelievable. I kind of feel like we could go this way really early. These devices are still at full power. Feedback is a really gratifying spell. Oh, it just feels good, doesn't it? If only it was good on ladder. It got so turbo nerfed. Okay. You guys turn them into a nice little friend. Ooh, ow, 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 ow. Yeah, get Vorazoon going. Ooh, I wonder... I wonder if we can, uh, like, create a line of bait of enemies to try to get Vorazoon to come help us. That would be really nice. I don't think we're going to be able to. We got to keep deploying these pylons, though, to get more income in the early stages. Get that Adept Shade. Don't kill my Archon, thank you. I need him. He's very expensive, and I don't get very many things in life. <gasps> Observington the Observer. He died. Well, we got this first thing. I uh, just, I learned that Kerrigan wants to be our friend and give us stuff, so I'm, like, really, really trying to be aggressive here. I think that more Archons will be good. And then... This goes down. I got really scared. <laughs> I saw stuff coming up the ramp, and I was like, don't touch my Templar. What are you gonna do, repair my Templar? Let's go hunt for a shield battery. Has anyone figured out how to build one of those? Uh, have you? No. Why is everyone really bad at Mac? Oh, you're building one. Thank you. Sensors are showing three more remain hierarchy. Everyone else comes back, and we're just going to let our allies defend against this attack. Give them a nice little storm. Perfect. Chosen. Slay these heretics. I'm stealing your shield battery. Yeah, we got it. We're doing good. Our spirit is so the Shadow Tendrils are not very far at all. I think this is going to be the next area that we want to approach, just from a logistics point of view. I think this is the last pylon I'm going to build. And now I'm just going to focus on the money. Hmm. How did I find out about StarCraft? Uh, my... I had some uh, neighbors that I played with when I was a kid, and their big brother knew StarCraft, or they had StarCraft, and he let us read the Prima Strategy Guide. 
<laughs> and then we would play as StarCraft units because we were like, when did it come out? It came out uh, 98, so I was like seven years old. So, yeah, we did that. And then eventually we played the video game itself. We'd been playing like Warcraft 2 before that. Because Warcraft 2 was apparently the baby's game that the little kids were allowed to play. Oh, man. I want to attack into this, but I have to wait for my friend. I don't know what Kerrigan is doing. She's attacking this way. I want one of these two people to do... <gasps> That's not very much. <laughs> Let's open for more. <laughs> T-Lot, you gotta do better. Well, we'll try our best here. Shields up. Feedback. Ooh, is Vorazoon Vorazooming? I hope so. This isn't going super great. But we haven't lost too much either. Oh, they're walking right on our wrath. Uh, you know what? I'm pulling back. That was not a good fight. I mean, we did some serious damage, but we also lost a lot of stuff there. Uh, the Wrath Walkers are insane in this mod, and as I said before, I really, really want them. You okay? Yeah, you're fine. They have 13 range for some reason, and <laughs> we are going to rush Wrath Walkers so that I can abuse them too, because I'm tired of getting shot by them. Uh, okay, let's do this. Jim, uh, Jim, Jim. Oh yeah, take down the Vanguard. There we go. What a guy. Okay, I guess we have to take down this guy first. Oh, this is an awkward angle. Once they, are dead, move on. they targeted down all my Templar. Oh man, those are expensive. I don't think they understand the Templar tax is very high these days. Well, we got this area. We got little rock number two, and now I think that everything should be pushing in the same general direction, right? All of our allies should be kind of unified, and unity is a Protoss thing. Even if, as someone made the joke the other day, uh, <laughs> 20 cents per unity. But that's okay. We have 60 cents. We can afford three unity. Which is why we have four out. Oh no. That's not good. Alright, I got a solar lance for this one. Come get me, Amon. Grab the rock. Left. Uh, fight with Artanis. And... There they are. Let's go. One, two, three. So maybe we fight with Kerrigan after this. Kerrigan seems like the best person to shield overcharge, right? Because she just has the number of people, and this ability doesn't care about supply or anything. It just cares about the pure volume of troops that you field. So I feel like she's a good choice. Oh my gosh, yeah, this is the this is the timing. Okay, well, those Zerglings are not gonna be part of the timing. <laughs> uh, let's give this guy a little bit of feedback, and then... Can we feedback this? Yeah, we can. Feedback that. Keep it going. Make sure we have Guardian Shell up, because it really, really, really nerfs the Destroyer ability, which is already bad. So, nerfing it even more is always nice. I've, uh... I have met the enemy. <laughs> and they have a 10-kill vanguard. Uh, hmm. I... <laughs> I'm not sure the High Templar is the choice for this one. Let's just see if we can take the triple vanguards down. I'm willing to overkill here just to get rid of them. Remember, vanguards are stronger than any hybrid. The StarCraft tier list is 
Widowmines at the top. Then Vanguards. Then everything else is so infinitely bad in comparison that they're all on the same tier. I like the Kerrigan's helping out over here. That's not maybe we maybe we attack over here. Let's take down this layer if we can. I don't know what I'm doing. Not much. That's what I'm doing. Oh, I do not really have the ability to hit air. Huh? Artanis, thrust yourself. Thank you. <laughs> could you could you use ancestral winds, please, to heal me? Wait, yeah, I think I can. I think I know how to do this. Wait, does he lightning charge me? Oh yeah, he does. Can we pull our Tannis places? Wait a moment. Uh, if we get this guy over, I think, I think the way the AI works, we might be able to bring. Nah, he resets fully. Oh, hello. Ah, oh, no. Okay. I was I was really hoping. Wouldn't that have been amazing if we could have kited him over to help by attacking him and making him charge us? Oh, that would have been so good. So we're gonna chainstorm the interceptors to take them out. That is almost always the best way to do it. Minions, fight your way to the next crystal. The Templar will finish up here. Okay, the AI is actually really good at avoiding that. But it's fine. <laughs> the actual best way to do it is wait for the Marines to come. It's a lot of stuff. I'm just gonna Solar Lance, help out my friends, make sure everyone stays alive. Let's take down this pylon. And we're making good progress. The Shadow Tendrils have not gone very far. And we haven't lost the save as many hive as possible bonus objective, which is good. Now the real question is, do we get a benefit for blowing up this base? Because we got a benefit for blowing up a base in another one. I don't remember what the benefit was because we had won the mission when it happened. It was Temple of Unification. I kind of want to try, right? Like, we have so many powerful and manly and cool allies that should be able to win the mission even without it. Like, look at those Psy Storms! <laughs> they don't need me. Let's go try to kill a base. I have no value in life, only my allies. Whoa. Don't know how the words worked right there, but they didn't work very well. Let's, uh, let's do this. We're going big Archon energy. I'm going to get some sentries behind. Oh, hello. We might need to help out our friends on this one. Then again, they have Vorazun and Artanis, and cannons, and batteries. You know what? I choose to believe in my allies. Yeah, this will be fine. That is a hybrid dominate. Or a behemoth, though. It's a big one. I'm a little bit stressed for them. But what I'm going to try to do is Zerglings are all going to get killed. And then they're going to head upstairs. And what I'm going to do is attack in at the same time and activate my shield overcharge. So that they get the benefit as well. Focus on the void crystals, Artanis. The enemy bases can wait until we're good and ready. I don't know if that's true, Kerrigan. I actually don't think they can wait. I think I'm just going to die here. There's a lot more than I expected. Yeah, okay, they got those Wrathwalkers again. We're not going to beat the Wrathwalkers. The Wrathwalkers are super imba. Hey, Jim. Let's get him. <laughs> Go, Jim. <laughs> He's our boy. Guardian Shield Jim. Well, that didn't work. But they lived. The enemy lived. Legacy of the Void fight with Ally mod. Go get him, Ally. Oh, they killed my pylon. 
Oh, Jim, you forgot to bring your Marines. No wonder we lost. I I think, uh, could we could we get a vote to declare all of this Jim's fault? Uh, I don't see anyone saying no in the chat. I didn't give you any time to react because there's always that little bit of a stream delay by the way the technology works, so. Yeah, no, no one said anything. Let's just make sure that we, uh, don't accidentally have the mission end before we get our bonus objectives and then let whatever happens, happens. Oh, this was a Wrathwalker attack wave that just happened to appear at exactly the wrong time. I see. Well, that's what I'm going to blame on it. It wasn't our fault. It was the Wrathwalker attack's fault. Oh, <laughs> why did they morph like that? Morph the one that's about to die. <laughs> Game. Uh... Let's go get our bonus. Man, I'm so excited to Wrathwalk. It's going to be great. There we go. I'm going to secure a crystal myself, Artanis. Cool. Join me if you wish. Sure. That is the last of the vessels, Karax. All right. Understood. I am transferring the final power source now. Uh, do we just pile on here? I wish I could. <laughs> wish I could deploy my allies energizer. <laughs> Maybe, maybe Energizer's just really good because they provide mobile pylon power. And because everything is warping in this mod, that is, like, exponentially better. Because you can do that in the base game, have everything be warping, but it's so expensive and you lose out on good abilities. We could have beaten this. I'm just incompetent. I think that if I had gone Annihilator, so we could have done it. My hive cluster is taking a beating. We gotta save the hives, as many as possible. It's fine. You're fine, Kerrigan. 